Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Dark Rising. On the last episode, we made our way into the Volaire Forest, south of Salem, and we fought Light. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but hope hopefully not. So we're going to continue on today into the Rosary Graveyard, where we heard a sound deep, deep out, where who we thought would be Sydney. Let's go ahead and battle some trainers in here. Apparently this guy collects Pidgeots. Let's see how many he has. You only have one. And a Star Raptor. Looks like you took my stars. But I'll take you out with Dreams and Spike. Let's go with the Psychic on on Stars. And Dragon Claw on Pidgeot. Dragon Claw almost takes it out. Stars goes for that Brave Bird. And I'm pretty... Okay, I guess they both go for Brave Bird. And Dreams is very slow. That sucks. Or maybe they're just fast because they're flying types. So Psybeam and Aerial Ace on Pidgeot, and that will take it out. That's all this guy had. So we defeated Bird Keeper Peter. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds funny. And I saw another trainer over here. Oh, are you a trainer? Talk to me. I want to know. Ooh, Honchkrow. That's cool. That That's really cool. But, oh, no, no, no. I need to run away. Because you are dark type and I can't hurt you. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Uh, Jigglypuff, Igglybuff. Not necessarily Wigglytuff, but yeah. Oh, Cottony. That works. And two Cottonies, that's all you have. So I'm just gonna, you know, Aerial Ace, take them out. Maybe Fire Blast would hit them both, but I'm not gonna risk it um, having them miss. So I'm just gonna take them both out easily. 420. Alright, so there goes both her cottony. Sorry, I had to. I'm a rambling gaming dude. Alright, so I'm guessing you're, uh. What do you call it? Not. Oh, look, gamer rich. <sighs> well, I'm about to make you poor. Haha. -ha. Uh, let's go for a psychic on the Machamp and a Dragon Claw on the Alakazam. And maybe. Okay, I didn't think that would take out Alakazam. But I'm pretty sure this will take out my champ. Yep. Ah, that's good, that's good. And side beam. Oh no, Shadow Ball. Oh, I probably should have gone for Shadow Ball and Aerial Ace, but oh well. Aerial Ace probably takes out Alexam anyway, so yeah. Oh look, cool. James good to level 56. That's cool. And any other trainers I can find in here? You. You should be informed. You need a strategy to win at this. Well, See, my strategy is just to whoop your butt because you guys suck. Uh, Magneton is up first. Let's go for a Psychic. That should take it out. Nope. And before you go ahead and use Zap Cannon, let's go for a Side Beam and take you out nicely. Bronzor is up next. Let's go ahead and send out Stars, I guess. I don't know. Stars is the only one at level 55, so figured send out Stars. Let's go for... Uh, Let's have him use Brick Break, see how much that does. Not, oh, did more than I expected, but let's just do it again and take out the Bronzor. And up next, we're going to have a Yanma, which I'll also take out with Stars, because he has Aerial Ace. Oh, great. It did detect. Of course. Love uh, protecting yourself. Oh, damn it. You're just going to keep raising your speed, aren't you? Yep, you love it. You love it, don't you? Uh huh. Aerial Ace. Woohoo. Okay, so there goes the Yanma, and that is the end for this trainer. You're such a, you're a nerd, but you still couldn't beat me. That sucks. For you. Alright, so I see a nice double battle over here. We'll shock you with our twin power. Maybe they have electric types, or maybe they're the Jigglypuff Clefairy uh, too. Nope. Emolga and Emolga, because they are gonna shock us. Sucks for them, we're gonna go for a. Let's go for a side beam. And a dragon claw, and maybe that'll take them both out. I'm not sure, I don't think so. Oh! Well, dragon claw definitely took you out. And why are you using. Since when does Emolga learn roost? That's okay. Whatever. And Eli and Anne are taken down. Nice try with the twin power. And you! Let's rock! Oh, are you a guitarist? I hope you're a guitarist. Nope, you're an ace trainer. Oh, cool trainer, my bad. 
I, get, I forgot they were called cool trainers in this in uh, this game. Ah, I like I like ice. I mean, Ace Trainer better. I don't know why. Makes him sound like elite. So Ariados is up next. Nice poison type. Let's go for side beams to take it out. And there goes Ariados. What do we have up next? Floatzel. I'll keep dreams out. And just keep going for some uh, side beams. That apparently takes everyone out, even though it's a it's pretty weak compared to Psychic, but it still takes everyone out. All right, uh, any more trainers left? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to run into Pokemon, Pokemans. Oh look, an Ekans. I need that in X, but I don't have one sadly. All right, so I believe that should be all the trainers here. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to go into that side over there. Amaris's mansion. Haha! -ha, you're not going anywhere, Sydney. Oh, Joseph, run! They're too powerful. That guy over there is Caden. He's the son of that V guy who's been causing us trouble. The other one's Sakura. They have been. They have some pretty nasty dragons with them. What V? What V mentioned those names before? It was when he was about to turn into a stone. I will avenge my father. Oop, too bad for you. No, you will not. Oh, look. It's the uh, black and white trainer. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. So, this, uh, this guy has a nice uh, black Kirim. So, I'm guessing the other trainer will have a white Kirim. Oh, my God. This is going to be terrible. Uh, part electric type. So it's electric ice. No, it's electric jack. No, is it? I don't, I'm not sure what it is. But I'm going to set up elite seed if we can. Which, oh, yes we can. And wow, that actually he heals us up by quite a bit. Let's go for a mock punch to go first. And super effective, so it might be ice type. I think so. Maybe ice electric, I don't know. And let's go for... Not claws, let's go for spike. And let's see what we can do with spike. Dragon claw, maybe that'll be super effective. Yep, and... Oh, I guess it's just the same. And spike goes to level 57. Dragon pulse, I believe that's better than dragon claw, let's see. Dragon claw is 80, 100. Dragon pulse is 90, 100. So yeah, let's take out dragon claw and use dragon pulse. Alright, that's good. So I defeated Caden. Father, I failed. Indeed you did. I guess it's now the girl's time. Arr, you'll pay for this. You may have defeated my brother, but you'll be, you won't be able to withstand against me. This is for my father. <laughs> well, if I defeated your father, your brother, it's time to defeat you. Now, white cure him. Let's go for a dig, because I feel like this is going to be very super effective. And let's see how... Nope, not at all. The so Dragon Pulse probably going to take me out. That was kind of stupid of me. Sorry. Let's send out stars and, I don't know, heal up some Pokemon of mine. Let's just revive two of them. So first we're off, we're going to revive Spike, obviously. And then we're going to revive Mush. Oh, nope. Let's just go straight on for Spike and use the Dragon Pulse. Maybe I can do more than... More than enough. Nope, not enough. Dragon Pulse will take me out, so yeah. I kind of need to uh, use Spike. Maybe Claws can survive a Dragon Pulse. Hopefully. So that I can like revive more than one Pokemon. Claws, you can do it. No, you cannot. This is not good. No good. Um, just gonna keep reviving around. Uh, maybe dreams. I don't know. Mush is definitely not gonna survive one. Go for the flamethrower. That's why. Wow. Um. Send out dreams. Maybe at one point it'll run out of dragon pulses and I can send out spike again. Or maybe it'll miss at one point and I can yeah. Nope. Dra dreams dies. Spike is definitely going to die. Wait, I just want to check how many, uh, Dragon Pulse has 10. So far it's used about 7. 
So let's just keep reviving around and stall it out of um, Dragon Pulses. Probably has like two left. Um, Mush is gonna go for a flamethrower, so probably should revive someone else. Um, let's go for Spike. Zen Headbutt. That that was that's different. Um, come on, Spike. Uh, ah, no, we do not want to attack. Just keep reviving. I'm really surprised Claws couldn't survive a Dragon Pulse with full health. But, oh, I guess that's how it works, so, yeah. I mean, it is level 70, so. Let's go for Claws. And just keep reviving. Maybe it'll be out of Dragon Pulses by now. I really hope so. I think that should be its last one, so. Let's send out Spike now. And we'll see if that was its last one. If, it's, if it wasn't that one, then it should be this one. But uh, let's go for Claws once more. I don't know. Oh no, it has one more Dragon Pulse. That should definitely be the last one. If it's not the last one, then I'm just going to quit and wait. Like, I'm just going to rebattle them. Because then it'll have... Okay, yep, it goes for Flamethrower, so that probably was the last one. And now, we can go ahead and just... Revive more than one Pokemon because I highly doubt it's going to take me out with like one shot or something. Roost. Okay, that's kind of, that's weird, but you go. So stars, good heal. Zen headbutt, not going to kill me. Um, and claws. That's three Pokemon healed up nicely. Nicely done, guys. Mush, uh, I'm going to hope... You go first with the lead seed. No, you don't. That's great. So, mush is a waste of time. Let's go for area lace. See how much that does. Actually, I'm going to go for a brick break. That's probably my best bet with you. And you missed. Let's go for another brick break. And Zen headbutt. I doubt that's going to kill me. Yes, it does. Um, so, we're going to need to not uh, to heal up more than one Pokemon. Let's go for spike, stars, and dreams. Because flamethrower is going to kill me even though I'm water type, which sucks. So Spike, come out. And let's just keep reviving. Let's go for stars. And then let's go for dreams. Thank you, uh, Spike, for actually surviving more than one hit. Good job. And I feel like stars will be able to do it with some nice break breaks. Maybe Kyurem can even miss its attack, which would be amazing, actually. Yep. And one more brick break. We'll take out the white Kyurem. Nice try, guys. So, Dreams to 57. And Stars, not to 56. Not yet. Err. How could I lose? Err. You. I'll defeat you. No, you got it all wrong. Your father was being controlled by Darugus. You, but you two seem to not be in control. My father was tormented and sent into the other world because of you. You're responsible for the death of my father. Look, I'm so sorry. Maybe I've been selfish all this time and only worried about my father. But I'll, I promise, I'll find some way to bring your father back. We won't take any help from you. You're now and forever our enemy. Let's go, Sakura. You'll pay dearly for this. We'll meet again somewhere. Good job in defeating those guys. What happened here anyways? By the time I got here, this girl over here was in some intense battle with Kaden and Sakura. I followed Keldeo here. It sent something about this girl. Hey, I'm not a girl. I'm a young lady. Watch yourself. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, anyways, it's good to see you here, Joseph. I have a feeling there's something very strange in this building. I'm getting a weird feeling like a presence watching me. I would follow the feeling, but my Pokemon are exhausted. Why don't you check out the place and tell me about it next time we meet up, okay? Yeah, sure. I wonder if that Amaris person is here. Okay, see you later. Well, I suppose I should thank you. Are you alright? Physically, yes. Mentally, no. Since I first set out on my mission to destroy the Rugas, I've been hearing a call from a dragon's roar. It must be Kyurem. It is close. Do you know what were those dragon Pokemon Kaden and Sakura have? Yes. They were Kyurem Black and Kyurem White. 
I seek the original. Cure him. The original cure him. I was misled here by those two. But now, the aura in my mind is even stronger. Cure him is near. Well, I guess I have to be on my way. Oh, that was her. So I'm going to go heal up real quick. Okay, so I am back. And, uh, let's just walk around and see what we have here. We're not going to walk around for too long. Um, uh, actually, let's not walk around this episode. I'll leave that for the next one. Um, so I'll end it up right here. I'll see you guys on the next episode.